here at the YouTube headquarters in uh, sunny California. Uh, I am here to pitch them my 12-part mini-series on musical legend Crazy Frog. Um, now, I haven't actually booked anything or, you know, scheduled or reached out to anybody, uh, but you know what? History isn't made by those who schedule things and who respect people's time and boundaries. Uh, Crazy Frog sure didn't, and look where that got him. So, anyway, here we go. I've been given a restraining order from YouTube headquarters and from every zoo in the state of California? Well now, how are we gonna do the episode on Crazy Frog's anatomically correct body? This album is... Nope, nope, don't you dare. That is low-hanging fruit even for you. What? This album is very enjoyable? No. Is a reminder of why Young Thug is such an enigmatic pop culture icon? No. Is filled with quality contributions from its guest rappers and producers? And that one dumb verse from Machine Gun Kelly that was added in after the album was already released? Yeah, that was dumb, wasn't it? But no. What then? I'm, I genuinely don't know what you think I'm gonna say. Huh. So you're not gonna say it. Um, in that, in that case, I apologize for assuming. That's my, uh, that's my bad. No, that's fine. That's fine, dude. I, I accept your apology. Um, wh what did you think of it? Oh, I thought it was so much fun. Damn it! I definitely prefer the overblown electro-folk freakout that was 22 a million, but let, let's be real here. I love this record the second Justin Vernon said that he fell off a bass boat. No way. No way. I'll give kudos to the band for trying this new direction, and there are definitely some good songs on here, but I, I get the impression overall that this will eventually be remembered more for its place in the band's history rather than the actual music. Aw, oh, boys. All right, come on, bring it in. Give me a hug. Oh, you're gonna be okay. You're gonna get through this. I mean, look on the bright side. You've made your best project since the Saturation Trilogy. Yeah! I can, I can dig it. You're such a weird dude, Post, and, and you got a nice voice, and you've clearly got the money and resources where you can make what you want to make now, and having Ozzy Osbourne on here is a neat move conceptually, but oh, you just keep making the same bland music over and over again. Arr, I'm so mad that you're bland. Damn, I really like this one. Now, this was good. Good hooks and great production all around. Heck yeah. Thanks, Jason. My biggest issue with this album at the moment is that it makes me wish I was listening to another different album. Like, what if Taylor Swift made a Baroque pop album and got, like, John Bryan or one of the Desner brothers to produce it, and she brought on, like, Joanna Newsom, Andrew Bird, Fiona Apple, Y Music. She, she could keep Jack Antonoff and Max Martin and even Ed Sheeran if she wanted to. Like, I feel like they could fit in that aesthetic somehow. This went on for like another 20 minutes or so, but I, I think you get my point. Our lives seemed so much simpler 13 years ago, until one musical act dared to challenge our preconceived notions of what art could be. But just as we started to listen, they were gone. In those 13 years, our world has changed irrevocably. We find ourselves asking more questions about the planet we occupy, the lives we live, and the art we make. But one question looms large over all. What makes a frog go crazy? This was gonna be so good, like, ah! Uh! This miniseries could have been incredible, but clearly YouTube and their bodyguards couldn't see what was in front of them. Oh yeah, and the new Tool album's pretty good too. Uh, gripping on first listen, somehow worth the 13 year long wait. Um, now that we have those guys back, how about we get this musical icon back, huh? Anybody? Anybody? 